if you look at the events that we went through from 2015, 2016, you know, that peaked in 2017, especially before we had the introduction of an EFX window, you will see a central bank that is very determined to keep exchange because the central bank believes that Nigeria is highly import dependent, you know, and to the extent that exchange rate volatility affects the prices of those goods, then it feeds into the domestic economy, right? Uh, we may differ on some of the approaches that the central bank has applied. You know, I think it was in 2019 that uh, for the first time, the central bank owned up to its own methodology to say that their uh, approaches have been uh, heterodox. And we've seen you know, some of the measures that have been put in place. Now, what we are seeing right now is um, suggesting that we are, we, are, we are gradually moving towards you know, what we saw you know, pre the recession period, right? What we've seen is not so much of a, a drop in terms of prices. You know, whether the currency is appropriately priced right now, you know, I mean, there's no doubt about it. Whichever measures you want to look at domestically or looking at the external sector balances, it suggests that there may be the need to, you know, adjust the currency. I mean, when you look at, you know, the movement that we've seen, after the last devaluation, we've seen movements, you know, from 360 to 365.